T-Mobile. It's the latest to announce cuts of its workforce. It plans to slash that workforce by nearly 7 percent. It did reiterate its full-year guidance for 2023, as previously stated. The company, um, that 7 percent of the workforce, involves 5,000 folks, or almost 5,000 people. That's according to a filing and an email that CEO Mike Sievert sent uh, to the employees. The shares are not moving very much, but this stood out in part because the job cut announcements have really slowed down as of late, yeah. but also because, as Sievert points out in this email, this is an unusual move for T-Mobile, which has largely been outperforming its larger peers um, in recent years. As he says, this is a large change and an unusual one for our company. We are tackling tough decisions now. And he sort of talks about that in his email to employees as well, that this is sort of... They're trying to do this um, as a as a move ahead of, mm -hmm. you know, what could be tougher times. Yeah, in terms of the charges that they're expecting to incur, pre-tax charges of approximately four hundred fifty million dollars in the third quarter of twenty twenty three. That's related to the workforce reduction, um, and they did reiterate as part of this the current fiscal year 2023 guidance that was previously issued here. Um, but again, I mean, you, you think back through to some of the moves that T-Mobile has already made here, um, shutting down some support centers, uh, and that no doubt impacting jobs more largely. And I think it also comes at the same time that every company in the kind of bands that they operate within have been making investments into those bands for at least the the connectivity that they're looking to bring on for so many customers and, and competing in you know it, it anybody who can you know best decipher or disseminate to customers how the bands have changed and right. um, really yeah. given them better access or speed and latency one customers. more thing that stands out to me here is in terms of the reasoning of why they're doing these cuts he says what it takes to attract and retain customers Customers is materially more expensive mm. than it was just a few years ago. And he said they were making up for that by synergies of their acquisition from uh, of Sprint, right? That they were accelerating those synergies, building out the high-speed internet business. Um, however, he says, it's clear that doing everything we are doing and just doing it faster is not enough to deliver on these changing customer expectations going forward. So again, coming down to the cost of doing business right now, which in their view is going up. All right, well, TMUS shares down on this news by about a quarter of a percent. We'll continue to keep tabs on that for you and give you any updates of substantive nature here.